Hello Aquarius, this is your February 1st to February 15th, 2017 read. For the main read, I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot. This is the back of those. And for the supporting cards, I'm using the Lucy Cavendish Magical Spell Cards, which I think the back is really pretty. I'm always holding that up there for a while. All right. Okay, so I put some, um, yes, it's kind of eclipsing that, okay, it's part of the creativity. If, you, if I haven't mentioned in other videos, I always pop out the cards based on, okay, we don't want the bad one, okay, based on how I'm feeling. So, well, I use, I use mainly the main, same spreads every time where cards lay, I just kind of use the basic outline like a blueprint and just kind of let cards hit where they may and kind of read them that way. Um, your overall energy, okay. I feel like you're involved in some creative endeavors, maybe some creative speaking, maybe some um, verbal dancing. <laughs> I'm getting the thought of verbal dancing here. You got the Empress with creativity. Um, and this is kind of the overall, no, I don't think this is the overall energy. I think this is for the midsection. So we're going to come back to this, but it's very much uh, verbal dancing. Verbal dancing, very interesting. Okay, this is what I really feel your overall energy is, and this is the bottom of the deck. Um, I didn't get the, I didn't feel like it was right to pull the bottom of the other deck out because it just didn't feel right, and I go by my feelings. And this one... This one came out strong. Authent authenticity. So I feel like um, <clears throat> when I'm thinking of this, I really think that you're being very candid and honest, but I also think that some people might not handle it as well as you expected them to, and you might have to do some verbal dancing. There we go. To like say things a little differently. I don't feel like I don't feel like it's one of those things where you're going to try to negate what you previously said and backpedal. I don't think it's that. I feel like you feel when you say whatever you mean to say, it comes off just it doesn't come doesn't get received correctly, and you have to re say things or do some verbal dancing to be better understood about what you actually meant and not what they heard. Kind of makes me think of one of those exercises I did in high school. I think it was high school, um, where you know you say something to one person, you give them a message, and they have to like write down what they think you said without using any of the words you just did. Um, so it's kind of like trying to figure out what exactly they heard without them re repeating back exactly what you said to them. Uh, it's very interesting. Um, so, and that's kind of what I'm feeling in this sense. Like you say one thing, but it's like they hear something different. Or they, the way, however you say it, you mean it one way, but it's just received differently. You're like saying, this... Like you're saying this hat is blue and white striped. And they're hearing this hat is red and black polka dots. And you're just like, what are you talking about? How did you get that out of blue and white stripes? Um, that's kind of like how it's... I feel like that's how it's coming off for whatever reason. And you're just trying to be authentic and on point about it. But it's being received a little differently. Um, I feel like you're... I feel like this is the overall energy for the beginning of this time frame, which is the Queen of Swords. Um... Very honest, but not. I don't feel any malicious intent here. Speaking from the heart, it's kind of. I just feel like you're speaking from the heart, and you're just not editing because you feel like you should be able to, and you don't. I should. I don't feel like you're trying to speak from the heart. You just do because you feel very comfortable. Things come out directly from the heart, and <laughs> I feel like um, there might be a frustrating situation around you, or something a little, something that's frustrating you, or you don't understand. Um, I don't think it's like a major frustration, just something's a little a little uh, aggravating and it's sort of not like all encompassing, just like kind of doesn't make sense to you. So you just kind of let the words come out as you're thinking them or as you're feeling them. And I feel like um, as you're doing that, it's kind of like not, it doesn't hit right. Um, okay. You're doing that, and I got some interesting, like, I feel like 
you're doing this and you're kind of explaining how you feel. I don't feel in the very beginning, like, as you say this, I don't feel like it's a quick backlash in the sense. I feel like, um, in some cases, you say things and it goes second hand, third hand, and then somebody else comes back to you and they're like, I heard you said, or blah, 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 or you feel like blah, 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 and you're just like, no, no, wait a minute. This is where the verbal dancing starts. Because not only do you have to explain to that person, but I think you, you have to start tracking down exactly who's saying what and why. Because you're trying to con- you're trying to get a situation like back into focus. Because it's not coming across right. It's not being said right. Um, and it's like I don't feel like you're bothered that people are talking. You're bothered that you're being misunderstood. And you're, it's being taken away that you did not mean it to be taken. Um, whoever's around you, I don't. This is the environment, the sun card. So somebody has your back, but I feel like almost one of the people who is who's talking, if not a couple of them, very much care about you. And I feel like that's where some people come and they're they're questioning, like, did you did you say blah blah blah, or did you mean blah blah blah, whatever the situation is, and you're kind of like, I feel like this card came in, like, it's kind of cockeyed there a little. It, this is how it was laid down in the deck, which makes me think when this, when this comes back to you, it kind of like knocks you off kilter for a second, and you're a little like, what? Why would I say that? What are you talking about? And I think you're, you're slightly aggravated at first, but. As you talk to them, you figure out what happened, and this is where, again, the verbal dancing comes in, and you figure it out with them, you try to find out who else heard this, you try to get it back to the source, and you're like, that's not what I meant, why are you telling people that? And then they reiterate what they heard, and why they thought that's what you said, and you're just like, no, no, that wasn't right. This is kind of how the problem is starting, because I feel like, in the beginning, you say how you feel, it just kind of comes off straight from the heart, you feel like you can talk to whoever it is without edit, and you don't think anything else of it, but then they're just talking to somebody else and like, oh, you know, so-and-so thought, blah, 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 or was feeling this or said this. And I don't feel like it's against you when they say it. They just feel like they're trying to, they feel like they're in your corner when they're saying this to other people. Like they're trying to do something for you, but you're just kind of like, no, that wasn't what I meant. And I don't, this isn't right. I need to fix this. I need to stop the spin. I need to slow it down and fix this because this isn't right. Okay. I feel like I'm talking pretty fast today, too. Not that that matters, but I feel like that's kind of like, maybe that's kind of like the verbal dancing, because I feel like you're kind of getting in there, and you're trying to like, what is going on? What are you talking about? Why are you thinking I'm saying this? Like, um, and the person who's, where this originated from had your best interest at heart and thought they were doing something to help you. It's just not turning out that way. Uh, this is in the very beginning, and then we get into the verbal dancing. Okay. As we go on from this, and you're like, you're aware of what's happening. And you're like, all right, let me, let me, I have to get control of this and fix this because, and I'll just fix it myself. I almost feel like that energy is coming through. Whoever said what, they, they apologize and they want to fix it and you're just, they want to fix it for you. And, they're just, and you're just kind of like, nope, nope, it, I'll just, I'll handle it. It's already out of control. Let me just, I'll say things to people myself directly from me. That way there's no confusion. We'll just, I'll just nip it in the bud that way. Um, and that's fine. I also feel like uh, the person who this originated from, they feel bad about it. Um, I feel like there's a little kind of like they they didn't realize that that's not what you meant, uh, and they they kind of feel bad that this situation is going the way it is. Um, I feel like they feel a little bit they feel bad about it because it was a misunderstanding. They thought they were helping, and it turns out they weren't. Um, they very much care about you. I'm getting like this really like this really sorry feeling. Like they feel really bad about however it was taken. And I don't really feel like you're that upset about it. Uh, I feel like you're a little aggravated for being misheard or for being misrepresented. You don't like how that's happening, so you might have come off a little edgy, a little aggravated, and you, I feel like you are aggravated when it happens. And justifiably so, I just feel like the other person, they, they take it to heart and they feel bad. They feel bad because they thought they were helping, and it turns out they were not helping at all. Um, I also feel like, um, I feel like you kind of get over it kind of quickly. And I feel like you talk to just a few people where you feel is necessary and you kind of like let it iron out and it's fine. Um, I think another reason this fool card is coming because I don't think you're aware of like the hurt feelings. The other person feels bad. They, they really feel bad. I feel like that, that's coming through like a pulling in the center right now. Like I feel like they really feel guilty and they feel like um, they lost some trust or they, they, they kind of like hurt the friendship or relationship a bit because of how things turned out. I feel like they really feel like they damaged your trust in them. 
And there's a little concern there. I think that's one of the big reasons if you're watching this reading and this kind of hits with you. The other person involved, I don't feel like you're really angry with them. I feel like you're kind of letting it go and you're seeing it for a misunderstanding. But they're holding on to feelings that they feel like they damaged their relationship with you and they feel bad about it. And I feel like if you, uh, after the fact, if you kind of just let them know that it all, all is well and good, you understand they didn't mean to do that, and it's fine, let's just move on from it. You know they didn't intentionally um, mean to cause disruption. Meanwhile, my dog is tugging at me because she wants my attention. <laughs> um, yes, I love you too. You're cute. Okay. This is in the, in the environment. Um... For those of you who handle this well, for whatever reason I need to say that, I feel like you're going to, um, you're going to, the other person's going to say, I feel like the other person's going to tell you like they feel bad and they're sorry and they feel bad about it. Um, I feel like you're going to like say it's fine and go over it real quick and I feel like you're going to kind of let, just let it go. Um, you're just going to be like, it's fine, it's okay. Um. There are some, I am feeling that some of you uh, may not be as relaxed about the situation. There's a reason for that. There's a piece of it that's causing you aggravation still, and that is why. Um, if, if when this person comes to you and they try to apologize after the fact, um, if there's some piece of it that's still not resolved for you and you're still aggravated about, it's going to backlash on them a bit, and that's what I'm worried about. And I only say that because they re they really do feel bad and they're trying to apologize. They're trying to regain your trust. I don't feel like trust is really damaged in your eyes. I don't feel like you take it that bad. I, I feel like you're seeing it as a misrepresentation, like they just heard it wrong. And you understand why they did it. You're not. I don't feel like you're really bent out of shape as in far, like I, I don't feel like you've, it's damaged the relationship. You're kind of bent out of the shape, out of shape a little bit by being misheard and people thinking what they're thinking because you don't like it. But you're not like upset with the person who said it because you realize they didn't mean to cause that. They didn't mean for that to happen. Um, and you're very well aware of that. And I don't feel like you're holding it against them in any sense. Um, but if I feel like if you're still sorting out a piece of this and still trying to get it smoothed out or going the way you want it to, um, you're going to still be a little aggravated and you might snap back at them a little bit because the frustration of trying to fix that still and it's not easily fixed or as easily as you think it should be um, you might vent to them exactly what you're doing and how, how much you had to fix because of this misunderstanding. And I feel like, um, I feel like I'm getting like the sense of a little bit of an argument because they, I feel like the guilt has kind of built up a little bit on their side and they're feeling really defensive and feeling, they're feeling guilty. The guilt is kind of fueling it and pushing the defensive side forward and you might have a little bit of an argument with them because of it. And I, I, I really think that um, if that happens, in some situations it will, um, it's going to be one of those things where it comes back, it comes down to like all, everything you've gone through and they, they're going to try to prove that like, they, they didn't have your, they didn't try to screw things up on you and all this other stuff. It's going to be kind of a drawn out conversation and, and you're going to be like, yeah, I know. And I feel like, especially with the page of swords, swords are fire anyway. Um, no, they're not. They're air. Excuse me. So I feel like you're going to take, uh, you're going to try to back off. You're going to try to let them speak. I feel like this is more of the verbal dancing kind of finishing out here because I don't feel like you want the situation to, to drag on. You don't want the relationship to be damaged or hurt in any sense. Um, and for that reason, and because you love this person and you know that they care about you, you know that they're just upset because they feel bad. Um, you're kind of like, okay, it's fine. I feel like when they push back, you're, you're kind of evaluating, you're going across all these things, they're pulling up things from the past, like trying to prove that they wouldn't do that to hurt you, and you're just like, I know, I know, it's fine, I'm just trying to sort things out, it's fine, it's going to be okay. When you do this, and you do this little ending of the verbal dance, this is, where you, this is how you attain victory in this time frame. I do feel like you, you do hold back, or you do like secede a little bit. The verbal dance makes me feel like you let certain things go. You may be aggravated about a couple things <laughs> that you're just kind of like, you know, you're, you're thinking about it. And you're just like, I don't. It's fine. I, they can. You you feel like you're thinking in your head. You know, I know I'm right on this situation, but I love them too much to make it an issue. 
So if, if they think they're right, they can think they're right. I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. It's not that important to me. Um, victory. You get victory because of that. The situation kind of moves on. I feel like at this point, that's another reason this is coming forward. Another reason you're kind of letting things go and just not pushing back is because you're just like, I just want it to be done. It's fine. It just, it happened. It's life. It happened. We don't need to drag it out any farther. So if you want to think that you're right, fine. I'll just let you think you're right because I'm just, I'm done with this. It's fine. I don't really think you meant to hurt me. I was just venting about what I have to deal with because of the situation, but it's okay. I'll just let it go. And it kind of feels like that. Like, okay, I'll just let it go. I mean, I don't think you should be blown up on me, but okay. <laughs> That's kind of how it comes comes across. And I feel like it's kind of like um, when you got victory here, you have ISIS inspiration about behind it. It's kind of like a motherly influence. Whether you're male or female, it's kind of like looking out for the other person, caring for the other person. Um doing something to your detriment for their betterment uh, sometimes because parents, especially moms, and definitely dads too, but they'll do something to their own detriment for their child to benefit from it. Uh, you know, get some, get less sleep or, you know, go without or, you know, sacrifice what they want so the child can get what they want. <sighs> that type of thing. Because that's kind of what I'm feeling with this. Like, you're just kind of like, I, the relationship means too much to me to hold on to little things and just, it doesn't matter if I'm right. I don't care. I just want this person who I love to feel better and to help me let, because I want to let this go. I just want to move past it. It just, it happened and I still trust you. It's fine. It's just, I feel like they're more upset about it than you are. It's just that, you know, you may vent about what you have to do to fix it. And you're just kind of, the only thing that's aggravating you is being misunderstood or mis misrepresented. It's one thing if you did say it and mean it, it's one of those things where, yeah, if I said that, then I'd own up to it and I did it. That's fine. But I didn't say that, and that's not what I meant. And you're kind of aggravated because you're being misrepresented. You realize it wasn't malicious, but you still don't like being mis misrepresented either way. You just don't like it, which is understandable. Um, so that's the only thing you're aggrav aggravated about, but it's not worth holding on to in your opinion. So you're kind of like, you're like, it's fine. It's fine. If you want to feel you're right, I'm willing to let you think you're right just as long as we can move on. I still love you. I still trust you. It's fine. Okay, so... Oh, wow, I dragged down for a while on this one. Okay, so I think what you're basically, what's coming in is just to be aware that not only would there be a misunderstanding in the sense of like you're going to say something to someone, not realizing they're taking it wrong, and then they're going to like try to help you in some sense and talk to other people, and it's going to bring a spin back around to you, and you're going to hear something that you're like, that's not what I meant, and it's going to kind of throw you off. Um, what you need to know about the situation is the other person feels really bad about it, I don't think you're going to think at any point that they maliciously tried to do something against you. I don't feel that energy here. I don't feel like that's how you're feeling anyway. But you may not be aware of how how uh, bad they feel about what's happening. Like I feel like they feel really guilty. As soon as they realize what happened, they feel bad. And they want to fix it, but you're just like, I'll just fix it. So they back off because they feel bad. But I feel like this kind of festers and they feel really guilty about it. So just be aware of that. Um, and when they come back and try to apologize, um, just be aware, of the, like, especially if you're still sorting it out, um, if you come back a little harshly, warranted or not, it's going to cause a little bit of an uh, argument and you're going to probably have to like, okay, fine, yes, I understand. Like, because the person means that much to you, you're just going to kind of let it go. Okay, good. All right. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like a personal read from me, go ahead, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.